Hello there, welcome to our balcony cabin room tour on Britannia Piano Cruises. Hello, come on in. Let's close the door behind you. Welcome to our Piano balcony cabin. We are on deck number 10, so E deck in room 327. Let's give you a quick tour. So as you come into the room, straight away you've got a full size mirror, which is great and that's directly opposite the storage area. So I'm gonna go in here first. Now I'm really like impressed by the amount of storage. Obviously it's all open storage, which makes it look even bigger, um, but we're still waiting for our suitcases to pop up. So they're gonna slide in here nicely. Um, we've got our life jackets just up top and plenty of hangers for all the stuff you need to hang. We are only on a seven night cruise, but I still think we're probably gonna fill this up. We will fill this up with all the clothes that we've got coming in our suitcases. We've got a storage area here as well, a couple of cupboards. Um, we have a safe free to use, just a four digit pin safe. You do also have your laundry services price list and details of that we'll put on our website, which is georgeanddan.com. And we've got a cruise section on there and we'll upload all our stuff that we get from this cruise onto that website. And directly next to that is the bathroom, but I'll take you in here because the room is a little bit small, but I'll turn the light on first. Wait for it, wait for it, boom. So the bathroom, you're gonna see me now. Hi, I'm six foot tall and I'm a little bit stocky and I fit okay in here. You do have a, um, uh, if I can open it, charger there for razors and toothbrushes or whatever. I don't think we actually took our toothbrush charger with us. So I can't tell you if that's gonna work, I don't think, but fingers crossed they do. You do have plenty of storage areas too. So two shelves, well, three shelves if you include the one that's got the cups in. No bar of soap, sink, water pressures, yeah, not too bad. You have your spare toilet roll down here. Well, your toilet roll, spare toilet roll. You've got a bin and you've got some facial tissues. Remember on cruise ships, you do have to put the lid down before you flush. I guess you could get sucked down the toilet otherwise, who knows. And the shower. I've seen this on YouTube, everyone kind of opening the door. So my feet are there. It is quite tight. Um, yeah, it's a bit narrow, but the shower itself is rather large. So you do have two shelves, so one shelf here, one below, and your little footrest kind of thing. We will be using that as a shelf, um, so we put more stuff down there. You've got your shower, and you've got your White Company bath and shower gel, and some shampoo there as well. As I make my way out of the bathroom, there you go, another view of the cupboards and the life jackets just above. On the back of your door you have a little like fire exit information board like you have on most um, in most hotel rooms. Obviously it's different because we are on the ship. So it tells you where your muster station is. So this is our room up here on E deck, deck 10. Our muster station is at Brodie's which is on deck number 6. It's just a couple of flight stairs down and kind of like, it's just kind of there. We've already went there. We went there, um, first thing we've done, scanned our boarding passes, went to Brodie's. They scanned our boarding passes again, then we can come to the room to watch the safety demo on the TV. It's also got information on how to put on a life jacket, so all your different instructions there. We need to do that, because um, we haven't done that yet, so we will be doing that anyway, just to make sure it's kind of like a good a good fit. You also have this key card, um, say it's a key card. So you put this in your door if you want your room to be cleaned in the morning, so when we pop out in the morning, we put that in the door to let the cabin steward know to make up our room or on the other side, I'm resting, please don't disturb. And you just keep that in there during the day when you're in the room to keep everything running. As we come back this way, have your air conditioning kind of thermometer, which is great because we love a cold room. Oh, this bed looks huge. I'm not sure what size it is. I'm guessing it's queen. Um, it looks really comfy. Haven't actually laid down on it yet. So we've got seven lights of this. So I hope it's comfy. We've got the mood light in above here, which is a nice yellow really like this room, it's quite nice and modern and fresh. This will be Dan's side of the bed for the first time ever. Dan doesn't have a plug. She doesn't have a plug on this side of the bed, but I do on mine. And you've got three light switches, one for the mood lighting, which also includes that one over there. Your main cabin lighting, and your kind of reading lights above there. The TV is huge. Um, I'm pretty amazed with the TV. We haven't had a play with it yet. We will do that, because on other room tours, a lot of people say, um, Oh, I haven't turned the TV on on a cruise because I didn't spend much room in my cabin. But we like to put the TV on at night when we're falling asleep, when we wake up in the morning, as you kind of get ready. So we will have a look at that and let you know what it's like. 
but there's a plug there are plugs everywhere so there's a plug down next to the full-size mirror and there's a plug underneath the TV and they are the UK plug adapters so that's great nice little sitting area another full-size mirror and on this side in-room phone um, on that you can call reception wake up call dining reservations etc etc and room service another plug which I'll be using three more light switches a mirror and you also have um, some menus here so these are your room service menus and things like that they will also be on our website and then you have your tea and coffee making facilities you've got a kettle um, some rather large they're massive teacups actually I was expecting a, a lot smaller than that some glasses and down here you have an in-room fridge which is empty but we will be using that we've managed to take you can take up to one litre of spirits each on board this cruise so I've taken a vodka and some lemonade so they'll be in there keeping nice and chilled so for this cruise because we are kind of celebrating Dan's birthday because we didn't manage to celebrate his birthday earlier in the year we got the celebration package and um, so for that you get a bottle of champagne some chocolates and wine glasses that's why we have slippers and bathrobes in the bathroom and the nicest bunch of flowers like ever they smell incredible but we're going to go out to the balcony so these curtains are blackout curtains lush a slidey door this time so I won't get stuck this is the last time we went on a cruise I couldn't get out the door the cabin is fairly narrow but it's bigger than I thought it was going to be um, Dan's still a little bit scared of heights especially as our drop is onto a lifeboat so maybe he'll get comfortable and come to the edge of the balcony at some point in the cruise but you have two seats and you also have a table here as well to relax on the balcony we hope you enjoyed our room tour this is on Britannia and it is a balcony cabin if you liked the video give us a thumbs up and don't forget to hit that subscribe button just down below and we'll see you later